first thing you'll need to do is cut up some cooked chicken. You can either use some chicken breast and just grill it up or use a rotisserie chicken like I did here and then cut some chicken up into little cubes or strips. Turn on your stove to just a little over medium heat, put your chicken into a pan and then add in some frozen vegetables. It helps if you thaw the vegetables ahead of time, but if you don't, don't sweat it. This bag that I got didn't have broccoli and I really like broccoli in my chicken pot pies, so I bought a separate bag and added some of that in as well. You can do this with whatever vegetable you prefer in your chicken pot pie. Next comes the cream of chicken. You can use cream of chicken or cream of mushroom. They both will taste just great as great. You'll need two cans of this at 10 ounces each. Stir the mixture for about eight minutes or so. It should look something like this, nice and creamy and all the vegetables and chicken should be softened. Next, oil down a pan that is about three to four inches deep. You can either use um, just regular oil and then use a towel or use pan. Take your crescent roll number one, lay it down at the bottom and seal all of the holes to make sure that none of the mixture seeps out. Pour that mixture that you just made on top of that and be sure to make it nice and smooth on top. Take crescent roll number two, put that on top and seal all of the holes as well. Put your pan into your oven for about 355 degrees at 25 minutes. It will become nice and golden brown, kind of like this. If your chicken pot pie rises kind of in odd spaces, it's totally fine. It'll taste just as great. Take it out and let it cool for about 10 minutes or so before serving. Should look something like this. Nice and soft and fluffy. And voila, you're done. That's all there is to it. Thanks for watching.